Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Full Force News Burst Live special. Finally, I guess it is a special, isn't it? Uh, with me, your host, Christopher McLeod, aka Diagnostic 80, brought to you by Generals Joe's Reborn.com. And we are talking Tiger Force. Yeah, I put the tiger hat on, the Mizzou tiger hat I've got um, to make it all Tiger Forcey. Yeah, so a leaked image has creeped out. We were sent this about. I want to say about five times today. Um, and it was like, oh, okay, it's sneaking out. And um, yeah, so it it was kind of, uh, I suppose, like, a re not revealed, but leaked earlier today. And um, yeah, we just got like a, a bunch of messages come through. And it was like, right, looks like looks like we're doing this then today. Um, don't know any other information yet. We've been hearing kind of like, not very clear information that it might be a pre-order dropping tomorrow, which would make sense because, you know, we've got, um, usually with these leaks, they happen like the night before. So that sort of makes a bit of sense. Anyway, you know, we're talking about Tiger Force, the Tiger Paw and Wreckage. Yes, uh, let's get stuck into it and start showing some images. Why not? I mean, it was it was always going to happen, wasn't it? We were always going to get, we were always going to get the a repaint of the ferret in some way, shape, or form. Didn't realize it was going to happen so fast, although we did because we've known about this for a while. And we'll be able to unlock another listing. <laughs> we'll be able to unlock another listing for you guys today. Um, yeah, so that's fun, at least, isn't it? Um, what we're saying in the comments, which is the comments in a weird language. Hope everyone's doing well, by the way, tonight. I hope everyone's having a... I mean, it's the middle of the week. It's Wednesday. It's the hump. Are we over the hump yet? I guess we are, sort of. Um, full Tiger Force. Um, a lot of a lot of that coming from the figure six-pack, mainly. Um, we will need wreckage backdrop. Um, yes. Uh, that's right, pass. Um, Derek Holliman says, hello, hello. Sup, real zim. Uh, that looks absolutely amazing, says Derek. Yay, wreckage, says Jeremy. Sweet, says Flaffle. Uh, greetings, Chris, and everyone here in this, this evening. Hello, Wilfre Wilfredo. Um, lots of happy, smiley faces from the figure six pack. OMG from Joe Barrett. Who the hell is wreckage, says James Oliver. Well, let me let me clue you in. I should have done this as Let's Talk Classified, Tiger Paw and Wreckage, shouldn't I? Um, so wreckage, right, okay, we'll start, we'll start well way in the past. Now... There were a number of figures that showed up in a Toy Fair catalog um, with Tiger Force um, decos on them. Ripcord was planned, and there was a figure mocked up and everything in an image. There was a repaint of Firefly called Saber Space Tooth. Saber Tooth, you might have seen that uh, particular um, image, that kind of figure being utilized by Super 7 very recently for their reaction line, and uh, on the cover of Toy Collector magazine. Uh, not my words, the words of Top Gear magazine. And what was the other, um, if you get that reference, five points. If you don't, Google it. Not my words, the words of Top Gear magazine. Anyway, what was the other thing I was saying? Yeah, so then, um, because it was cancelled, it never came out back in the vintage era. But then um, Hasbro did do a figure with that deck, sort of with that deco, not exactly with that deco, more of this deco that we're seeing on screen at the moment. Um, and they called it wreckage because Sabretooth was obviously a uh, an issue with the um, the name uh, copyright and everything with Marvel. So they did that. The club also did a wreckage modern era uh, figure in the type one of the Tiger Force kind of like scenarios. And again, repaints of Firefly pretty much every single time. And now we've got one in. Um, we've got a wreckage in the classified series, which is amazing. Yeah, it's not like. The saber tooth deco. I mean, there's a difference between them. I should have. Put, why did I not post put the images of saber tooth and wreckage that we've already had in? I'll do that on the weekly. So we'll go over that on the weekly with images, James. So you'll get to see exactly who wreckage is. Um, evening all. I'm in for a couple awesomeness. Wait, what? When did this happen? So lots of people. I'm not going to read all the comments. I know why I'm doing that. Um, wreckage is saber tooth. Saber tooth is wreckage. Um, didn't see this coming. We're gonna get. We didn't see this coming, says Joe. We did, but we couldn't say anything. It's one of the ones that's been locked on our blooming list for the longest time. But we get to unlock that today as well. We're gonna get an in-depth version deep dive on wreckage. Um, 
it might be too late past the progy because the thing is, when I do Let's Talk Classified, it's sort of with a look to see what the fig what we might expect for the classified series. So it's kind of difficult because we already can see it. So unless I can put a video out yesterday, I cut it's not gonna happen. So I'm probably not gonna do that, but we'll talk about it on the week weekly and we'll get images up for for those that want a little bit of an in-depth info um knowledge dump on wreckage and saber tooth etc i want that badass firefly repaints as mr cheeseburger um well i missed the ferret because i forgot what day it was it's nice to see what else i can miss <laughs> punking yeah we don't know when this is we don't know what's happening pre-order wise yet it's possible it's tomorrow we just we're not there's no kind of we don't know it might be one of those like surprise sort of drops but we'll see what chris is streaming again yep just a little bummed about the colorway being more wreckage and less saber tooth, but still stoked about it. Paul, that's a good point. Someone mentioned uh, on, I think, one of the posts I've made already about it today. Um, someone mentioned that um, it could be cool to do like a retro um, version of wreckage and then have it saber tooth on card. So it's like the cla the, cla the cancelled figure that never came out gets a retro release. I don't know, but yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. I, I do prefer that kind of. They probably looked at them both and we're like wreckage has kind of got more classified esque deco you know subtlety to it it's not like the the saber tooth one is definitely brighter has like a normal orange in there so i'm not surprised they went with wreck it with wreckage's deco Re reco most important question what would wreckage's nightclub force colors be agent chuckles you absolute genius they would be teal neon green and bosnian purple i just made that that up I don't know what Bosnian purple would be. Um, I knew it, says the figure six pack. I think a lot of people expected this. Giorgio is so good, I stopped collecting everything. Just This just proves it, says Mr. Cheeseburger. That's totally cool. Um, Newfie says, damn, I think I see Chris more than my girlfriend these days. My apologies. Um, I feel like that there is a damning, there is a, a bit of a damning sort of uh, comment on the amount of streaming that I do. It is a lot. Uh, hello, Airborne Customs. How are you doing, buddy? How are you doing, Darren? Um, <laughs> I thought you were keeping this quiet. It's not my fault. I, it's just out there. I didn't do anything with it. I like the main gun on this one better because of the two colours. Yes, there's a little two-tone thing going on, isn't there? I think we could get a proper saber tooth now. Uh, I don't know. Hump day. Yeah, it is. Uh, there's so many comments. Guys, sorry. There's lots of you on here. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um... You winked on this, just didn't think this soon. I did wink on this flaffle because we blooming knew about it. Is this wreckage a repaint of classified Firefly V2? I believe so. We'll have a look at the image in a second, Jimmy, just to kind of get a, a kind of an idea, but I think it is. Um could do a who is wreckage. I could just do that, but that would require some work on my part, and I'm not willing to do it, Scott. No, I'll, I'll, maybe that's a fun thing to do. Maybe I should do that. I should have done that with Glenda as well. So maybe that's a good opportunity for me to do. Who the fedge is wreckage? Um, full force. It's my birthday. Happy birthday, Stygian. Not my birthday, Stygian's. Um, uh, Night force version Monday? Question mark. Don't know. Literally, when was this? It wasn't announced. It hasn't been announced. It, this is a leak. Full force morning, everyone. These always drop when I have no money. Don't worry. Again, we don't know when it's happening. Could be tomorrow. Could be in the future sometime. It's just a leak. Um, da -da 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 -da. Oh, sorry, so many comments. All right, okay. Um, let's look at the image. Boink. There you go. So, it looks like yeah it looks like firefly completely because it's all firefly new fire or firefly version two's uh accessories as well isn't it hit and all that jazz because not many people have been talking about it he has a normal balaclava head under the muzzle to my knowledge oh the muzzle is that an extra thing i didn't even notice that i thought the muzzle was like a just a deco piece is that um thingy's muscle muzzle is it um um, what do you call it? Mutts. Hasbro own Marvel now, so Sabretooth could come out. True. 
it is no surprise the Tiger Paw will come out, but how many motorbikes? Well, the thing is, though, with that, they don't own Mar Hasbro, don't own Marvel. Hasbro license Marvel. Like they're licensed, they, they hold the license to do Marvel Legends figures. They don't own Marvel. Sabretooth couldn't come out for the same reason. Like Marvel, they wouldn't do it because Marvel still are their own entity, if you know what I mean. It's no surprise the Tiger Paw will come out, but how many motorbikes do the Joes need? More Robert. We need the Silver Mirage, mate. I need the Silver Mirage. I feel like I'm the only person who has no idea who wreckage is. Not true, McMurphy. Someone's already asked that. Um, and I'm I was just trying to uh explain that. Rest in peace, Trina Robbins. Oh, that sucks, Diana. I'm sorry, but that's 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 rubbish. She was in comics, wasn't she? Um Steve Leia Lowe's partner and Larry's friend. She was a major part of women's work in comics. She was also an awesome lady. That sucks, Diana. I will um, add that to um, to the weekly um, on Saturday. Uh, I wasn't aware of that actually. That's that's really sh that's that's a bummer. Um, I think it's separate. I could be wrong. Yeah, I don't know. I would I would expect them probably to. I mean, I get that they would put it on to show it on him, like in like a you know like a this is what he looks like with a like a muzzle sort of thing. But I don't know. It's a difficult image to really get a really good look at, isn't it? I mean, it's again, it's potato cam sort of vibe. Um, I'm just going to zoom in to see if it. I think it might just be deco. Um, yeah, I think it's deco because it almost like. There's like a little, it kind of wraps around the nose and there's like a little, um, like it kind of poke the nose pokes through as a, as a piece of deco. So I don't think that is, no, it's too close to the face. I'm pretty sure. And again, I could be wrong, Adam, but I, I don't think it's separate piece. I think it's, I think it's, um, a, a deco over the top. Um, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. It looks really cool. I don't know. I, I really like this. I'm really into it. Um, it's again. It's exactly. It's. I mean, the, the really cool thing about this, actually, for me, is the fact we've got like a Tiger Force Steel Core helmet, and I know it's effectively what they're using it for is almost like a driving helmet, aren't they? Um, so we've had one with you know the the Night Pursuit, we've had one with the Vamp, and now we've got one with the Tiger Paw. So uh, effectively, you can make sort of little um, army built sort of troops. Uh, as well. What is interesting, and we'll look at this now. Let's let's look at this first. This is based off version one, who was actually a Tiger Force exclusive. Mm, what? Uh, I, I'm not sure what that means just on the Anderson. Let, uh, just under Anderson. Um, going uh, going to look great with that Tiger Force Dragonfly and Tiger Wild Bill, Detective Dirty Kid. I would love a Tiger Fly. That thing does not come off. That stinks. Uh, so that thing does not come off. Yeah, it's a, it's Deco on the face, basically. Can you zoom in? I I'm not going to. Um, I can a little bit, but I will look at this first. This is kind of zooming in, I guess. Um, I wanted to look at the the box first because this reminds me of is it let's play soldier the episode let's play soldier i could be wrong and i mean that is like they're doing sort of a similar jungle theme aren't they for all the all the tiger force guys and they're effectively i mean the last what was the last one tiger force roadblock and tripwire had kind of taken over or had taken had kind of a, a, arrived at a python patrol kind of checkpoint or outpost is the probably the proper term and there was like a banner that was on the floor with Python Patrol logo on it. And they're kind of like, you know, Tripwire is checking the area and Roadblock was, you know, providing cover behind him in a sort of similar environment. Um, to me, this really screams Let's Play Soldier with the Chul Mulgra sap uh, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I really like that. Um, yes. And I was just about to say that, Flaffle. It does look like Roadblock is on the, the next Tiger behind him and i wonder if it might be tripwire behind him as well but um that would make a lot of sense wouldn't it because it would kind of be continuing like a narrative that they're that they're trying to kind of tell a story through the kind of box art and stuff so it wouldn't surprise me if that's it's tiger uh, tiger force roadblock and tripwire but it's hard to see and even when i zoom zoom in on my own with my own eyes it's hard to see what's there but it does 100 look like roadblock uh when you zoom in on it um yeah 
So I'm thinking it's roadblock behind um, wreckage, and then behind roadblock is probably tripwire. But we'll we'll see when the the better images come out. Um, Yojo website says that the first time wreckage is an original is Tiger Force. Yes, yeah, he was. I mean, so wreckage effectively was a, a, an homage to Sabretooth, which was a cancelled figure in the vintage era, and wreckage came out as a, a, a Toys R Us what was it like a exclusive. Toys R Us exclusive uh, five, six pack with it's like Stalker and Big Brawler and a bunch of others as well. And that pack uh, was, yeah, had wreckage in it. And wreckage, that was the first uh, one they ever had. The next wreckage was uh, the club's one. Um, so, yes. So that's what they're, they're related to the Sabretooth um, figure um, as like an homage only, basically. Um, anyway, yeah, there he is. So this deco is 100% um, mimicking that first um, that first release. You can see that kind of tan kind of balaclava, the orange undershirt, the kind of like um, black, almost well, very dark green uh, base or black. It's black on that there, isn't it? And then that kind of like quite bright yellow tiger stripes. It was, it was dark green on um, on <clears throat> on the base for the original figure. Now, as I was saying before, it was based on um, it was based on that unreleased or can, yeah, I would say yeah, unreleased. I'm gonna I'm just gonna put it on here, even though you can't see it. Unreleased Tiger Force Saber Tooth, right? And there it is. You you only have to. You know, um, you only have to put that in, and it comes up. So as you can see, a much kind of brighter brown kind of balaclava, but most of the other deco is about the same, um, with uh, it being kind of more orange, kind of yet more brighter yellow stripes, basically, and a, and a kind of dark green base. So that was Sabretooth, and uh, Wreckage obviously followed suit after that. Anyway, anywho. Um, so that's that. Um, like I said, I can't see any other kind of like tech, like little homages in there off the top of my. I mean, there could be stuff on there, but you just can't really tell uh, until we see the better version of the uh, the box art, the better image. Anyway, um, love that original deco so much, says Paul. Yeah, it's it's a nice one, isn't it? Gonna have to get five of these, like the ferret. Five, you absolute crazy man! Bazooka gonna ride B on my tiger paw. He better. Um, Whoa! Can we get a close up? It does look like Immortan Joe. Uh, I will do. We'll do a. We'll do a close up on the main screen on my phone. Like I don't have that image at hand, and it would take me too long to mess about with it right now. We'll talk about it on the weekly as well in more detail, definitely. Um, anyway, so that's the box. Then we get the actual loadout and the vehicle and everything. So this is everything he's going to come with. So there's wreckage on the left hand side. Again, very. Uh, close to that that version one wreckage from the, uh, the the box set from like the 2000s uh he comes with fireflies backpack the 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 mines the knife the um detonator the pistol and the rifle with a silencer it's funny the pistol doesn't have one does the it should do. I suppose you could maybe you could take the one off the rifle. I don't know if you can if the rifle's one piece or not. If it has, I don't know. They usually show it like all separated, don't they? If it does come off. Anyway, and the steel core helmet. So we don't have his drone. He's like his like little kind of you know wheelie drone, which I actually I will say when we knew this was coming and we knew it was a firefly kind of reuse, and then when we saw. Night Force Shockwave come out on the Night Pursuit, and I saw that they had Firefly's old drone involved. I expected the other uh, drones to come with this as well for some reason. I just thought, oh, cool. Maybe it's going to be like, you know, um, maybe they're going to have a, a little, it's a drone party. Um, gas mask over hamburger face, says Josh. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, it's like, a, we think it's Deco. Um, but or tampo, but it's not. It's not something that comes off. So that is a deco choice. They've kind of probably done it to kind of differentiate him a little bit, make him a little bit different. And uh, yeah, and you. I mean, what's funny is you've still got that kind of firefly, like you know, the kind of like raised eyebrow thing going on, which is quite funny. 
Um, I kind of also expected them to do a um, a different head, but when a, when it's a balaclava, you can get away with it. Like seriously, get away with it. Um, he's going to borrow Firefly's car drone. Totally, Scott. Uh, I was passing on the ferret and as I was saving the space for this. So glad I made that choice. This tones review. Um, Bane as GI Joe says Evan like it. Like the deck on the figure says Ronin X thirty three. Um, Agent chuckles. I love the wreckage figure, but this is the perfect time to use Steel Core as a driver. That way, I'm not army building name characters if I want more than one vehicle. Um, what's under his mask? Another mask. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's like oh, he's like Zartan. Pulls his disguise off, and he's got his like headdress, eye paint, and he's got a respirator on somehow. And you're like, what? How? How? Um, could it be a Cobra Trooper head without the helmet? Also, a tan balaclava. No, I'm pretty sure it's Firefly's head because it's got the old raised eyebrow um, situation going on as well. Did we get a pre-order date for this yet? Sorry if I missed it, Action J. No, we had. We don't know what it, when it's coming. Uh, it could be tomorrow. We don't know. We just don't have a clue right now. Um, and anyway, then you've got the ferret, which... Not the ferret. I'm talking about the paw. You've got the tiger paw, which looks phenomenal in that deco. Um, it's nice that we've got a bit of surface area to get those stripes on uh, because you kind of start losing space at the back when you've got other things that are like black and the seats black and the back uh, panel is and the rack is so you kind of probably lose a little bit of um surface area to get those stripes on so it's nice that they can run down the side the ferret paw yeah um you got the eye on there too i'm guessing the mouth is on the front top can't see it can we on any of the images of well, the image that we have but you can probably just about make out the deco of the mouth um on the kind of front top of the uh, fender, whatever that is over the wheel. And then like next to the, you can see it like just underneath the little cannon, basically. Um, I do like the tiger stripes on this. Yeah, they're really nice, really sexy. It's not just like a light, like a stripe. It's like the broken kind of like electricity stripe kind of thing. I like that a lot. The mouth is on the helmet. Yeah, the mouth is on the helmet as well. I'm glad they've done that. Um, it had to be. You couldn't have the vamp helmet have a mouth and then not do it on the tiger paw uh, helmet. Like that would have made no sense at all. Um, you think it's a removable piece? You think it's a pattern basically in black as a tampo, and this is a removable piece? Okay, we'll see. I guess um, it'll be cool if it is removable because I don't think people want that on there from what i can tell in the comments some people don't want it on there so if it is removable phenomenal if not i i don't know i just have a feeling it might just be a permanent deco choice on the face but we'll see i guess um and yeah and then of course you've got the like the two-tone weapon on the back uh which is really cool black and red which is funny again isn't it because um the ferret's got an has it got a, it's got an all red cannon basically with a i think the 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 pin, the connector is black, isn't it? At the bottom, the kind of articulated arm piece is black. But like, it's interesting that this one has gone slightly more. It's gone black with a bit of red on it. It's like it, it's. It, I suppose it has to be different to the ferret, but you'd expect this one to have the full on red uh, cannon, wouldn't you? Um, one hundred percent tampo, not removable. Okay, I'm gonna trust you on that one darren because i know that you do uh work on the brand so in you know in in bits and pieces so uh okay cool well again we'll see won't we we'll we'll get uh we'll definitely see um i'll buy this just for the figure says josh Stygi tiger force demolition expert did stygian ask a question there that i missed in canon who is wreckage there you go tiger force demolitions expert um this looks better than the Tiger Force Ram. How dare you? I love that vehicle. But yeah, I, it's cool, isn't it? I mean, the other, the other aspect is here, we're dealing with a, a vehicle that has been in the Tiger Force. You know, it has had, uh, it's got precedent. It, it's got, you know, it's got previous, as they say. Um, so, yes. Um Anyway, that's that. I'm just kind of going through. Yeah, that's pretty much it. There are, more, are there more dire shots? Have more images come out? I'm intrigued. 
have more images appeared because that is typical of me, isn't it? Just to be like go live immediately, and then it's oh, like more images have come out. Um, I wasn't aware if there were more images knocking about. Target exclusive or at all sales platforms is target exclusive. All Tiger Force is always target exclusive, um, and there'll be but you know it'll be on Pulse in minimum amounts. Um, I can't see any other images. So someone's going to have to explain to me if there are any other images knocking about. Can anyone see any online? Because I can't see any at the moment. That doesn't mean there aren't any. I just can't. I'm clearly not following people that are posting new images of them. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. I am going to uh like i said we'll probably we'll cover this in more uh detail on the weekly definitely um there were some in comments on posts oh right okay i haven't seen any of them i'm gonna have a look because i'm really excited to see the other uh images if there are any um uh, but i can't find any anywhere on any of the posts i made unless oh nice Oh, it looks like it's a camouflage deco by the looks of it. It looks really cool. I think this is the same thing. This looks like a dio shot. Yeah, like there are more images coming out now. Um, yes, okay. So it no, it doesn't look like a removable piece at all. It looks like a it's like a camouflage deco. It looks pretty bad, A, eh, actually. That looks really radical. Look at that. Where is this coming from? What source? What I mean, we had about five. I mean, I, it, it, everywhere. It's coming from everywhere. It's not removable, though, Adam. It's deco. That's literally camouflage deco. There's no removable aspect to it. Unless there's another image that shows a mask over that. But I can't see that. That is literally 100% deco. Uh, camouflage deco on his mask that will not remove or come off or anything. It's not a separate piece. Unless that's the deco, and then what we're looking at on screen at the moment is like a mask that goes over it. Not a clue, honestly. Because it's weird, isn't it? Like, I don't... That doesn't look... That looks more... That looks way more... But it's covering the same space. I think it's just a poor image that's been really distorted. Um, it's definitely, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's deco. Well, again, we'll probably get a bit more information about this later. Uh, but some really nice shots here. Look at him sitting on sitting on his old sitting on his old horse in the freaking jungle and that. <laughs> There's an explosion in the background. I thought it was the sun when I showed you on the screen, but no, it's an explosion. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to yoink those images now, aren't I? Um, in fact, you know what I'm gonna do just to save myself um, some some not work. I'm going to uh, put these <laughs> in the slideshow that we're looking at right now, and see if I can do any sort of like crazy skills. Um, it's worth it, isn't it? I think it is, and then we can have a good look at everything. Anyway, what have we got after that? Yeah, we've got the list. Oh, we get before we get to that. Before we get to that, I'll just give you a sneak peek. Uh, not sneak peek, classified sneak peek confirmed, just joking. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna do a little bit of a little, little trick I picked up in NAM. Um fake NAM, which is a little town near where I used to live. <laughs> um okay. You just have to bear with me while I multitask. I can't multitask, so it's just gonna be me kind of being an idiot, basically. Uh, let's make a copy of this. This is actually, I mean, I like the fact I can do this on the fly a little bit, and it does mean that we can look at images as they happen, which is also quite nice. Um, I'm going to call this t Wreckage 2, get rid of that, get rid of all of that, get this image up on here. This is working. This is working for me. I don't care that you guys are not enjoying what's going on right now. But I can tell you now we're getting some other images to show off. Oh, well, I was. And then I did something very, very rookie error there. 
Um, I'm just not interested in how long this sort of stuff takes. I guess there's going to be a lot more images showing up now as well, which is um, kind of fun. And OK, so that, that, and that. OK, cool. Right, so I am going to quickly add this to here. Are you impressed with how crap I am at doing these kind of things? I'm pretty crap with this. I really am. Uh, let's look at the other images because they're great. Bosh. So here's image, uh, the, the other new image that's just popped up. A nice clear one now. And look at that. That deco's not. I like that kind of, I think it is black. And I kind of think he looks really sexy in black. Uh, can I say that? And, and you've got the, the mouth, the mouth. You can see the mouth now on the top. I thought that would be what, what it was. And I'm really happy it is. Brilliant. Okay, cool. So we've got a few more images um, in the old uh, in the old comments, which is good. Um, any others that pop, pop up, feel free to you know throw in my direction. That'd be great, or just put them in the comments like that. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. I appreciate the heads up on that. Um, let's. Uh, in fact, now that we're seeing what the deco looks like on that balaclava, I am loving it. I know we're not seeing it on the image we're looking at right now. But it's here, and I should have done a zoom in, shouldn't I? Because I have not done a zoom in. Bear with me. <laughs> Bear with me while I add an yet another image. While I add yet another, um, what do you call it? Screen slideshow. Like it's so smooth this show today, isn't it? But we talk about this one. How good does this figure look? Uh, I think he looks great, and. <laughs> I am definitely going to make another slideshow to add to this slideshow <laughs> on the fly because I am an idiot and I should have done the zoom in, but I was too excited. But this, is, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do a zoom in on that on that head because the deco is phenomenal. Okay, that should just about do it. Oh yeah, that's oh yes, that'll be close enough. Oh, that'll do, donkey. That'll do. So I'm going to add yet another slideshow to this absolute S. It's another S show. It's not a slideshow. But just so we can do this, just so we can look at this, bosh. Look at that. That deco's so cool. I'm loving it. I don't even know what it is. It's like a messed up mouth or something. It looks really cool. Really, really vibing on that that deco. They've they've made that so much better by doing that. Honestly, so don't know if um, don't know if what am I talking about? I can't remember. Don't know if um, that particular if there's like something else that goes on top. I don't think it is. I think that was just a poor image that we had originally, um, but now we've got even cooler images. So that's cool with me. Uh, looks dope, doesn't it? Really into that. I'm also sort of half doing a um, social post <laughs> while I'm on this as well. Um, this has just deteriorated, hasn't it? It's turned into an absolute mess of an episode. And I've got more to tell you as well. Um, more images of the tiger paw and wreckage. I might as well while I'm here, eh? Two birds, one stone, and all that. Okay, um, we're good. We are in the game on Instagram. Are we in the game on Twitter? Nearly. Paste. Bosh. Yoink, yoink, yoink. I'll tell you what, I'm loving that, that deco on the face. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah. And the kind of like the stripes. Well, let's go back to the other one and look at the um, the, the rest of the deco on the body. I think it's really nice. It looks works really well on that. Um, on that type, on that lad, on that wreckage. Did I just post it? I can't even remember if I, I don't even know if I posted it just then. I'm doing like so many different things at once, all over the place. There we go. I, it did, it went on there. I'll do Facebook next. Um, I usually do them first, they're usually the first one I do, but you're gonna have to go. Sorry, Zuckerberg. <laughs> You're going third this time. Although then again, Instagram's his as well, isn't it? So what we're talking about. Um, anyway, boom. Uh, right, cool, nice. And I'm I'm sure there'll be even more images coming as well again. Um, but there you go. Loving it. 
Um, now, what was 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 there another one? Yes, there was this one with the with him like detonating the explosion in the distance. Love this shot. Really nice. Uh, again, like showing you how all the gear can be stored and everything. You know, nice nice touches. Pistol, knife, uh, backpack, mines, and rifle all like located on his person. Helmet on. Um, detonator. Does the detonator? It's only in hand, isn't it? I don't think it can go anywhere. It's a shame that I, d I did think it would have been cool to have like how um low light can store his um wind gauge it'd have been nice to have the detonator kind of store as well really um anyway anyway um <laughs> pre-warped gun <laughs> um almost looks real tree camo it does a little bit james it does uh wow i want that figure says josh like a Call of Duty skeleton mask. Yes, it is Detective Dirty. It really is. Not this one. Obviously, this one. Yes, I agree with you 100%. Uh, I'm just late on the comments. Sorry. Is this a leak or Hasbro releases? The oh, it's a leak. 100% leaks. Leaks everywhere. It's leaky leaking. Leakage. All the gross terms for water coming out of your body. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's more a <laughs> what, what is it? It's not leakage. It's the other. What's the other one that sounds gross? Discharge. Discharge would be a great name for, <laughs> for a Joe, wouldn't it? In fact, is that going to be my name? That could be my, that's my Cobra name. I'll be Cobra Discharge. <laughs> Hideous. Hideous. Spewing. Yo, Joe OC, exactly. This figure looks so good, I don't even care about the Tiger Paw. Mr. Cheeseburger, how dare you? But no, that's, it's so true. How much? Well, probably fifty four ninety nine, I guess. for the Yeah, it's been that for everything else, hasn't it? Um yeah, this oh man, I'm 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 down. I'm down. Was there any other images on this one? No, I think that's it. So we're gonna go back to the first slideshow. There's so many slideshows on this one, it's crazy. Um and I have to do them all separately so that they don't affect the other. I don't have to get rid of the first one and bring it back again. I have to refresh it almost in the uh, stream thing. Anyway, let's go back. Boom. As you can see. Tiger Force Wreckage and the Tiger Paw were, was, is Yogi, HB Yogi. So that's the Target exclusive one we had for a while that we couldn't tell you about, but there you go. Um, so that unlocks yet another, um, you know, it unlocks yet another listing for us on the old listing scenario. Um, nothing else has changed, um, but that does, it, it's a nice little kind of check off the list in it. So HB Yogi. F9435 is the Target exclusive Tiger Force Wreckage and Tiger Paw, and that's pretty much where we are. Now, um, what else were I going to say? I think that's it, actually. I think that's everything, really, apart from when we go through the rest of the um, the listings and everything, you know, the kind of like, the just make sure we know we've got everything and we've checked all our boxes and all that kind of stuff. Maybe it will be mistakenly set to 44.99, like the Python Trouble Bubble. That'd be great. That would be great. Maybe Target will mess up, and this will be uh, forty four ninety nine two. Says Suka as well. Yes, indeed. Um, Navy Seaman, code name Discharge. Danny, that's disgusting. Discharge should be part of Eco Force, indeed. Uh, also, I know it's, I said it was disgusting, Danny, but I'm also here for it. Where is my flash? <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Glenda already has his gun. Yes, he. I'm sure he's coming. I'm sure he's coming. Uh, uh, what else are we saying? I'm not saying that one. <laughs> Three different people hoping it's 44 bucks. I know. Um, I need my um, HMS. I, well, well, it's I'm, it'll be around the corner, I guess. Zorak is crystal ball, says Raw Talk, real deal. Um, I, we can tell you that's not the case, but it would be amazing. Um, Stygian HMS shipping 423 now. Not, not bad. Um, anyway, yes. Uh, so we are aware of what Zorak is, but we can't say just yet. Uh, but like I said, we've been holding on to the Yogi one for a while. But there you go. Unlocked. Add it to your, add it to your spreadsheets, and away you go. Um, so some of the code names could be vehicles, even if they don't have the VH in it. Good to know. Yeah, that is kind of the case. Um, so what, what, what was the other one that? that uh space ghost was the other one that didn't have that was a walmart exclusive and that didn't that was a figure and vehicle it was shockwave and the ram and that didn't have vh in it um boo boo was a two-pack didn't have two-pack in it um 
there's 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 other examples that have happened. Usually, it's with the uh, the exclusive stuff, um, and then Pulse sometimes puts VEH, but then also they've stopped doing that. They they tend they doesn't look like they're doing it literally every single time now either. Um, so we'll see. Um, right then, Lifeline and Sci-Fi in 2024. That would be sweet. I think those two are. I mean, that has to happen, doesn't it? Well, not in 2024, I don't think, but definitely soon. Sooner rather than later, I'd imagine, for those two. Uh, yeah, that's another good point, Flaffle. Yeah, number 137. So add that to the list, too, uh, in terms of numbers. Uh, now, that's 2024. 2025, uh, this is what we know of so far. And, of course, Dinosaur Neil was what I updated you with uh, Monday or Tuesday? Tuesday? Yesterday. Was it yesterday? My goodness, it was, wasn't it, for the listings update? If I'd have waited uh, till the end of the week, I could have given you two listings updates. Um, I also, I mean, one of the things as well, the fact that uh, the wreckage figure, sorry, coming back to wreckage, looks sort of like generic enough, I think. I know it's Firefly, but with the deco and the fact that you put the steel core helmet on sort of looks generic enough to be a troop builder, um, which is also quite quite cool. Um, someone's just sent me a video of me dancing at a wedding, which is amazing. Um, <laughs> it was a long time ago. So over here's hoping Blossom is Stinger, since it had the A and A F. Uh, just hopefully optimism. Yeah, A and F was uh, Amazon or Famazon, basically. So over on his tank, we narrowed Bam Bam down to either Storm Shadow version two or a Baroness Redeco. Wow, that's interesting, Jeffrey. Um, they love Hanna Barbera cartoons. They do. When will Classified stop? Will they make all the characters plus all the new ones? Yeah, I, I think the stopping point happens. Like, you know how Masters of the Universe classics sort of came to an end. They did. I'm not saying that Classified will do the same. Classified has already been super successful and honestly has lasted longer than I think a lot of people expected it to. I don't think many people thought in 2020 we'd be looking down the barrel of a five-year anniversary for it already. Oh, how has that happened? 2025, we've got 2025 stuff coming. How has the how has the how has the life just sip like drifted away? That's insane. Yeah, exactly, Scott. Classified stops when people stop buying, basically. Um, and I think what I would also say to that as well is, you know, how Master, Master of the Universe Classics was really successful. You did, you know, basically ran all the way through to like pretty much doing every single like character. Did like they delved into like mini comics and and all sorts of stuff to get you know figures made up figures, you know, uh, Molar and <laughs> and what was the 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 kids? Um, was it Fearless Photog? You know, like kind of fan design sort of thing they were really doing pretty much everything you could possibly do and then it got to that point where it sort of kind of changed and other things started to took over and, and kind of happened there's a possibility that classified has a an, a, an end point right in a similar way where you just don't you, you might be getting like reissues of like old characters that people need doing again because they're you know uh, sorry, I've got a hair on my hat and I can't get it. It's annoying me. But yeah, like I feel like, um, you know how it gets to a point where it might rebrand or change a little bit. But I think Six Inch Joe will probably keep going for a, d a decent amount of time. I don't, I think it's got a lot of life in it, honestly. Um, I, it's interesting though that we've, that we have, we're almost at 2025, which would be a five year anniversary and probably something they would do as an anniversary. I'd be surprised if they didn't and do something special for it. Um, Re-release all of the first wave of figures. <laughs> Mwah, uh, uh, that would be really fun. Um, anyway. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, 2025, that is all we know right now. Uh, we've gone through this, like, so many times. I don't really need to go over it again, do I? You can see it on the screen. Uh, Xandar, Saw Viper, Leatherneck, Dial Tone, Wave of the Fourth figure wave of uh, the first four-figure wave, the 2025, and then Frag Viper and Blowtorch are included in the next four-figure wave, and then the other four-figure groups are beyond that. Um, and then exclusives and miscellaneous, um, as you can see there, it's just a mess. It's just a ton of stuff that we haven't got yet. 
Uh, and Dinosaur Neil is the new one that has been attached. Uh, it's another Pulse. We know that TT means Pulse exclusive or Pulse Con, and we're assuming Arthur Deluxe is Pulse Con because it's the only Deluxe option in that group of TTs. Uh, Legacy is the new 60th um, anniversary, although it's not 60th anniversary by 2025, so Legacy probably is the name they're going to take over with. And uh, that's pretty much it. And then lots of retro classified to come as well. Uh, three waves of three for 2025. Okay. Um, of course, the selfie series listings, again, like, don't know is the answer to that one. Don't know. Um, yeah, Motu Classics was 10 years, wasn't it? I wouldn't be surprised if Classified does 10 years. Wouldn't be surprised. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't go beyond 2025. You know, I wouldn't be surprised with any outcome, honestly. <laughs> I'd be surprised if they didn't get to 2025. I'd be surprised like that, but that's not going to happen, is it? I mean, they are literally doing amazing. I mean, there's so many amazing figures coming out. Most of it does get absolutely rinsed. Uh, the only stuff that doesn't really get rinsed, they can, they, you know, it doesn't really matter because everything else is getting literally sold out. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's got more legs in it than, than just 2025. I think it's got a number of years left, basically. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I'm, I'm only saying that because I've seen a lot of people kind of commenting and you know making comments about um, all that kind of stuff. 60th out ASAP, says Stan. Yeah, yeah, we'll get those soon, I think. But uh, classified can't end until I get my classified manimals. I mean, is that at the point where it ends? <laughs> when they're doing manimals, lunatics, and although I'd, I'd be down for that because I think it would be phenomenal. They could do some incredible things with those kind of characters. Uh, the, the mega monsters and, and characters from the cartoon that are monsters, like the DNA monster, uh, the marshmallow the burnt marshmallow serpentor DNA monster, um, the um, the fluffy, the fatal fluffies. Uh, I think there's like a lot of cool things they could do at classified scale that would actually be pretty phenomenal, whether you were kind of into them then or not. Because I feel like I feel like when you when you infuse a little bit more, you know, a bit, a bit more into it, a bit more kind of. I guess tooling dollars and design and all that kind of stuff, you can definitely do crazy cool things with that stuff. Um, and again, like I think some of the some of the figures in that line as well would be freaking mental. Um, anyway, anyway, I, don't, I mean, I don't, I'm, I don't, I'm, si I'm talking here all of a sudden about the end of classified, but it's not coming to an end, like not in the near future anyway. Uh, we've got a little bit of time left, I believe, guys. Do not worry. Um, do not worry about that. We've got loads to come. Loads to come. We've got a classified mobile command center to do, Terradrome, Flag. I mean, we've got to get to those, haven't we? Master of the Universe Classics managed to kind of get to all of the big play sets. Well, I say classics. Uh, they got most of it. They didn't do Eternia, did they? Eternia was done by whoever took over afterwards, right? Or am I, have I gone mad? Have they done Eternia as Matic? Uh, have they done Eternia as Mattel, or have they done Eternia as like was it Super Seven? Did Super Seven didn't do Eternia, did they? Who did Eternia? What am I talking about? It's recent as well, right? Anyway, Dress Blues Gung Ho would be wicked actually, and I could see them doing some of those kind of characters. In I don't know, I'd, actually, how could I see that being done? Maybe like a SDCC exclusive. That would be kind of fun. Um, no Classics Eternia, but what Eternia was done recently? Mattel Origins Eternia. Thank you, Jeffrey. But that was Mattel Origins. It wasn't Classics, was it? So it was um, smaller, right? Yeah, okay. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Appreciate the help. I got like add a bit of a brain fart there. Um, but it did well. I mean, Classics did pretty much cover everything else, which was phenomenal. Um did Super 7, was it Super 7 that revealed they were going to do the uh, the other playset? I forget the name of it now. Fake Motu fan. Uh, He-Man and Battle Cat was my first ever action figure as a kid. I love that set. Can someone please help me out in the comments? What was the uh, other playset that was re revealed recently as a crowdfunder? I want to say it was Super 7. I might be wrong, though. 
I can't think of the other company that does stuff. Maybe it is just Super 7. But there was like, it was recent. It was like a very recent thing. It was like a fan vote, wasn't it? For what was what it was going to be, what they were going to do. Am I, have I gone mad? Have I dreamt this? And it was like that, what was it called? It's got the little hand, you put your hand in, there's a snake in it. And it goes, Rrr. Mattel Creations, thank you. But what was the blooming thing called? This is going to kill me. I had the original. You put your arm in it. It's got like a friggin' like, it's like a play set. No, not Snake Mountain. It's got, um, it's like uh, smaller than Snake Mountain. What the hell is it called? It's going to drive me mad. You're thinking Fright Zone. Oh, that nearly killed me. Jeffrey, thank you so much. I am thinking of Fright Zone, and now it's all coming through. I I do, I, I love the crowdsourcing on here, but I hate the delay. So I'll ask a question, and like nothing, for like like a minute. <laughs> and, then, and then it's like Fright Zone, Fright Zone, Fright Zone. And then it's like 50 Fright Zones. Guys, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, I know it's not confirmed yet, but the, I, I remember seeing like a fan vote for something. And it was like a Fright Zone. And there was this, yeah, Lady Slither Castle. Was that the fan vote, was it? Was that what won it? I think I, I, think I actually voted for it as well. Uh, not, that I make, not that I'm going to get on in it, but I think I voted for it. New Snake Man playset won. The Horde Fright Zone didn't win. Thank you. Thank you. That's because everyone is Googling it, lol. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> Lady Slither Castle will be sick. I need to see that, actually. I remember seeing it at the time, but I, I need to see it again. I'm going to go check that out in a bit. Anyway, that's Masters of the Universe. What happened to this show? What happened to this show? I have no idea. Um, always happens. My tangents are the stuff of legend. Anyway, selfie series. We don't know uh, <laughs> is the answer to that. Um... Now, um, name only reveals. Uh, that's what we know so far. Um, for name only reveals, I've got more. Uh, let's talk classified episodes coming. We've got Blowtorch next, then Road Pig, and then Once a Man Cobra Commander. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's all I need to say. Digital renders. Um, I've been in contact with Emily today via message, and uh, we're still working out a time to do the chat with or getting all of us uh, available. So fingers crossed that happens on Friday. Fingers crossed, but we don't know yet. They haven't confirmed. It's up in the air. We will we will get an answer tomorrow probably. Um, but anyway, I'm hoping to get some sort of um, information about these figures for the Dragonfly. These are the only remaining uh, digital renders we have left that haven't been revealed in some way, other way, shape or form. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited to start seeing the, the Night Force guys. Uh, Ripcord and Crazy Legs, come on. Let's get it going. Glenda, come on. Can't wait to see these figures. They're going to be amazing. Um, Eben, has Lab Rattler 99.9%? Chris told me he will ask Lenny and Emily and then tell us all he promised me. <laughs> I sort of did promise you that, yeah. But um, I'm also... I'll, we'll see what they... I, I'm not going to ask them questions that they can't answer necessarily. We'll, we'll keep. I want to keep it close to the stuff that's come out recently at WonderCon that's come out, that probably would have come out... I mean, I'm just going to say come out tomorrow because we're getting all the images come through, aren't we? So maybe it's very likely that... Um, uh it's it's dropping tomorrow that tiger force um wreckage and tiger form poor which is what the actual episode was about before i got completely sidetracked about masters of the universe um i'm also looking oh it's gone quiet now because the uh, dryers stopped stopped drying which is great because it was getting a little annoying um what else have we got um i'm just looking to see if there are any more images poking around don't appear to be i think that's pretty much all the images so far okay that looks to be all the images so far there might be more what's thursday question mark ronin x33 well thursday's tomorrow um maybe it'll just be a random drop that they post on their socials i don't know yojo yojo thursday <laughs> target random thursdays um it might not be it might be some other time they've got a haulathon I think I feel like Hallathon soon or is happening. Uh, what is let let me see what Target Hall because it might be that. Is it going to be one of those ones where they just show it immediately in store? Because that's what Hallathon is, isn't it? 
Doesn't it just show up in store? Yeah, April 12th. Hallathon starts Friday, April 12th at 9 a.m. Eastern. I wonder if it's going to be there. Didn't think about that. So one day, 11 hours, 15 minutes and 50 seconds. But then again, it's just Turtles, Predator, Hello Kitty, Sesame Street, Beetlejuice, Necker, and Kid Robot. I don't think it's going to be G.I. Joe. So that might not be the case. Maybe they're dropping it on Thursday just to kind of like ride the coattails a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. We'll be keeping an eye on it, though, because we want to see if, um, you know, we want to see if if we get more images, obviously the pre we yeah, we want to do all that. So maybe there'll be another episode tomorrow when I'm going, hey guys, the, the pre-order happened. We'll, we, you know, we'll talk about it. We'll look at the images in more depth and we'll try and dig out who those are in the background. Good point, Chris, but Hallathon stuff is already on pegs. Yeah, exactly. And like I said, I, it was just a thought as I looked and saw that it was yeah a thing. But um, absolutely, it probably isn't that. It probably is going up tomorrow then in that case, but we'll see. We shall see. Anyway, um, unofficial leaks were still in this phase. Um, Snowcat and Thunder Machine still kind of in that, you know, will they, will, will they, won't they? But it's, you know, for, there's, there's, there's definitely that kind of, I've got that feeling that they're probably going to be happening. IG Bat we know of, Mad, Mad Marauders 2-pack, Sarge, Retro CC, and, and we kind of know Heartwrench is coming. Yeah, I mean, we know they're coming. We just don't have anything. I mean, the two pack and Sarge have been leaked visually, so we've seen those. Everything else, we just kind of have to wait and see. Um, the Tiger Paw, not Yogi code name, was in the Zebra PDA today when I checked, so I doubt it will get released to stores this week. Interesting. Interesting. Well, pre order drop then, I guess, tomorrow. Um, oh, sorry, I see. The Tiger Paw, nor. The Yogi code name. What? So yeah, none of it was in the Zebra PD8. Right. Okay. Yeah. So we know it's not Hallathon. Thank you, Darren. Um, very likely it'll be a pre-order drop. Very likely. Um, and tomorrow. So I'm going to be look. We'll look out for tomorrow. We don't know the time. Um, like I said, we could go all day without it happening and be like, uh, maybe it's later then. So we'll we'll see. We'll see. Um, anyway. Anyway. Uh, that is it for the episode. Let's just whip back uh, to the actual, you know, to this this part of the uh, episode. In actual fact, let's go to a let's go to a really cool image. I want to go to this one again because I love this. We'll finish on this. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's probably a bad choice of words. We were <laughs> uh, brilliant. Let's finish on this. Maybe not, McLeod. Maybe that isn't the kind of show that we expect from you. Anyway. Um, that's on a different channel. Joking. Right, guys. Um, like I said, um, images coming out all over the place of Tiger Force, uh, Port Tiger Paw and Tiger Force Wreckage. We expect something tomorrow, but we don't necessarily 100 percent know. We'll keep it, we'll keep it locked, we'll keep checking and we'll do all that kind of stuff. I'm my wife is shaking her head at you, says pass. Um, well, come on. That, I mean, I don't. Ex I expect nothing less, honestly, um, from some of the stuff that comes out of my mouth. Kitty said, um, "Such a nutter." I am Liquid Identity One Hundred and One. I am. Um, anyway, is that supposed to be a skull? Maybe my buddy Dave pointed that out. Yeah, it's like um, it, yeah, it kind of. I, it just looks like broken camo, doesn't it? It just looks so good now. Like it's so much better looking at like this. Anyway. Um, oh, uh, Marnius28 says, I had it confirmed for tomorrow from a friend's store. Brilliant. In terms of time, though, is what I'm saying. We don't really know. So we'll kind of keep an eye open for all the main... So these are the main spots for precedent releases for target drops. 9 a.m. EST might not be that. 11 a.m. EST probably won't be that either. I'm going to put my money on 1 p.m. EST, but it might not be. And anything after that is very unlikely. But I think we have had one at like we've had we've had them in the past at like three or something like that, I think, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I think it's either gonna be nine, eleven, or one. Watch it be ten. <laughs> um, but anyway, we'll keep an eye out. Every like oh, 10 a.m. Pacific. Well, that's it. 10, 11, 12, it's one 1 p.m. Eastern. Okay. Let's all aim for 1 p.m. Eastern, but I'll be checking from about nine onwards, genuinely. Um, but let's let's just 
let's we'll level out then. Uh, let's expect it around 1 p.m. EST. All right. All right. Thanks very much, guys. What a um, you know, what an what an interesting evening and another ridiculous episode. Oh, I took no, yeah, I was I was gonna do close-ups on my phone, but there's no point because I managed to do it on here, didn't I? Anyway, stay fresh, cheese bags. We did an hour. We got an hour out of it. I will see you probably tomorrow for the after party for the pre-order, which is what is likely happening now. Stay fresh cheese bags. I've already said that. And as always, after three, I think you know what to do. Um, and I think you might know what I might change it to. It's still going it, to... You, you, know you know what's happening. You know what's happening. You ready? After three. One, two, three. Oh, tiger force. Tiger uppercut. Yeah? That's it for this instalment of the Full Force News Burst. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. See you next time and as always, Full Force. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on X, formerly Twitter, at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash The Full Force. We've also added a brand new Instagram so check us out there as well at The Full Force Podcast and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on any of those platforms with feedback and questions. We also have a Patreon page so if you want to show your support for the show, see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click on the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force